guys welcome to suryansi learning classes today we will discuss about 10 important computer questions for all competitive examinations so let's begin the first question is in a computer system which device is functionally opposite of a keyboard a mouse b trackball c printer or d joystick The right answer is option C printer explanation in a computer system printer is functionally opposite of a keyboard a keyboard is the most common input device that comprises a set of typewriter like keys used to enter data into a computer the second question is a modem that cannot be moved from its position is called a intelligent modem b acoustic coupler c direct connect or d fixed modem the right answer is option d fixed modem explanation fixed modem is a modem that cannot be moved from its position it is static the third question is the unit keeps is used to measure the speed of a processor b disk drive c printer or d tape drive the right answer is option a processor explanation the unit of keeps is used to measure the speed of processor for the most early 8 bit and 16 bit microprocessors performance was measured in 1000 instruction per second the fourth question is which device can understand difference between data and programs a input device b output device c memory or d microprocessor the right answer is option d microprocessor explanation microprocessor device can understand difference between data and programs program is an instruction that goes to your cpu and your cpu decides which pins on the cpu are turned on or off based on the instructions data is bits and bytes just like a program but does not go into your cpu as instructions rather it's used by program to carry out certain process the fifth question is this power protection device includes a battery that provides a few minutes of power a surge suppressor b line conditioner c generator or d ups the right answer is option d ups explanation ups is the acronym for uninterruptible power supply it is a system that ensures sensitive electronic devices such as servers and pcs continue to operate if and when the main power source goes out a ups normally provides enough power for a few minutes to allow you to save your work before the computer shuts down The sixth question is which of the following are normally used initialize a computer systems hardware a bootstrap memory b volatile memory c external mass memory or d static memory The right answer is option A bootstrap memory explanation 
the bootstrap memory among the given options is normally used to initialize a computer system's hardware. Hence, the correct answer is the first option. A bootstrap memory can be defined as a read-only memory which contains various basic instructions which are needed for starting up the computer. The seventh question is a modem that does not need to be connected to a telephone line is the modem A. External B. Internal C. Wireless or D. DSL The right answer is option C. Wireless Explanation A wireless modem is a modem that bypasses the telephone system and connects directly to a wireless network through which it can directly access the internet connectivity provided by an internet service provider. The eighth question is who developed integrated chip? A. Charles Babbage B. J. S. Kilby C. Blaise Pascal or D. John Mochley The right answer is option B. J. S. Kilby Explanation On September 12, 1958, Kilby demonstrated the first working IC and applied for a patent on February 6, 1959. Kilby's description of the device being a work of an electronic circuit that was totally integrated led to the coining of the term integrated circuit. The ninth question is what disk is used to cold boot a PC? A. Setup disk B. System disk C. Diagnostic disk or D. Program disk the right answer is option B. System disk. Explanation. System disk is used to cold boot a PC. It is the system disk because the other disk may boot a PC. But they also perform added functions beyond booting the PC. To perform a cold boot means to start up a computer that is turned off. The tenth question is if a memory chip is volatile it will a explode if exposed to high temperatures b lose it contains if current is turned off c be used for data storage only or D, be used to both read and write data. The right answer is option B, lose it contents if current is turned off. Explanation, volatile storage is a type of computer memory that needs power to preserve stored data. If the computer is switched off, anything is stored in the volatile memory is removed or deleted. All random access memory other than the CMOS RAM used in the BIOS is volatile. Ok guys, thank you for listening me. Have a nice day. Keep learning.